Review the Magic. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another week of Review the Magic goodness for you. This week we have some really, really cool Disney stuff. Today we're going to open up two of these Donald Duck Disney Treasures collectible cards. There are Donald Duck bobbleheads, two different ones, plus there are some rare Upper Deck Disney Treasures collectible cards packs and sides. We're going to open up. Hopefully, we're going to pull out some rares for you. But also, we have the brand new June Disney Limited Edition Park Pack pin box. We haven't even opened that yet, so we don't know what pins are inside. Those are the limited edition. There are only 2,000 boxes that they sell every month, the first Thursday of every month, and we did pick up a new one. We did do last month's the initial box, so go back and check out that video. We also have some Frozen 4 Frozen Fashions for you. We're going to open those up this weekend, and we also have these two blind box Disney Tsum Tsums they're pouches, they're collectible pouches. These are rare, they are from Japan. You cannot find them over here in the US, so I really don't even know what they are. <laughs> I picked them up, I thought they were cool, and I do believe they are blind boxes, so we don't know what's inside. We're gonna open those up this weekend, so subscribe if you're not a subscriber. But today we're gonna start off with Donald Duck, one of our favorite Disney characters of all time, and these collectible boxes. We pulled these from our collection, and we're gonna open them up for you guys, so let me show you what this is all about. So this is one of them. They are two different bobbleheads. As you can see here, we have the Millennium Donald and we have the Vintage Donald. And I wanted to open these guys up for you today because I want to show you the difference between Vintage Vintage Donald, what Donald used to look like in the 30s, early on, in the 30s, 40s, I believe, um, and the Millennium Donald, which is the Donald basically of nowadays. So without further ado, let's open up, let's open up Millennium Donald first. So you can see the side of the box here, and inside there are four, uh, four packs of these rare Disney Treasures collectible cards from Upper Deck. Awesome Disney collectible cards. There are some rare cards inside, some filmography cards, or some um, signature cut cards. Rare to find. Hopefully, we can find them in here. That would be pretty darn cool. We did open up another one of these before, so go and check out our playlist to find that one. And on the back of the box, you'll see the four different figures in this set. The uh, We'll say the duck collection. We have the vintage Donald, the 1934, Scary 1934 Donald, the Millennium Donald, the 2000 Donald, the Scrooge McDuck, which is awesome. We're gonna have to get Scrooge McDuck right there. Thumbs up if we should get Scrooge McDuck. He is from 1947. And then we have Daisy Duck from 1937 as well. But today we're gonna open up these two. And in this one, we have Millennium Donald. So let's open it up. How many fans of Donald out there do we have watching this right now? Again, hit that thumbs up button if you love Donald. So as we take it out of the pack, out of the box, you can see the bobblehead's in the clear. We have the packs over here. So let's take the packs out to start. We'll open up those second. Awesome. So we'll put those guys right there, we'll put that there. Let's take a look at Donald. So let's slide Millennium Donald out of here if we can get him out. There we go, just yank him out. So I thought this was a bobblehead, but it's not. It's actually a vinyl. This is actually really cool. So the one that we opened before, we did a Mickey Mouse one before, it was a bobblehead. This is actually just a vinyl statue. Now, with the popularity of Funko Pops and all the different vinyls that are out there, uh, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Awesome. This is the Upper Deck logo on the side. 
Look at Aunt Donald. Isn't he cute? So, Don, you can sit there. Let's open up these four packs for you right here. Awesome. So we've done these before in the past. So if you want to check those videos out, we've actually pulled out some really rare cards from, valuable cards actually, from this set. So if you want to check those out too. So they have a whole bunch of different series or subsets inside these sets. So they're all pretty cool. So this one is the villain and that's Rano from Bambi. And I'll give you a quick look at the back. So it has a little clip from the movie, which is really cool. We have Belle, which is a hero from Beauty and the Beast. Awesome, you gotta love Belle. And we have Esmeralda from the Hunchback of Notre Dame. She is a hero. Esmeralda is awesome. Love Hunchback. We have Lady from Lady and the Tramp. Awesome, she is also a hero in this set. Now we have this awesome Donald Duck filmography card. And this is from 1935, so this is showing a, basically a scene from one of Donald Duck's early, early appearance, appearances, and that one is called Mickey's Service Station. So let's take a look at the back, and it does a quick little, uh, little rundown on Mickey's Service Station right there. That's really cool. So that's a cool pack, so let's open up pack number two. Again, we're looking for some rare piece of history. Are we going to find them in here? Who knows? These cards are pretty cool anyways. And we have Timon! He's a hero! And we have Tootsie from Donald's Penguin, a short. He is a villain. That one's really cool. I actually do remember that short. You guys remember that short? Let's see the back of that one. Now we have the Ugly Duckling from the Ugly Duckling. He was a hero again, a very vintage short. What year was the Ugly Duckling? Does it say 1931? You'll have to check that one out as well. And Edgar from the Aristocats. We just watched Aristocats last night. Awesome, he is a villain. And we have a Donald filmography card from 1935 from the Rugged Bear. Look at him, he's just, he's combing his hair with a rake. Ah, oh, that poor bear. <laughs> oh, the Rugged Bear, 1953. Awesome, so let's open up our third pack out of this box right here. And let's see who we have. We have the Lion King. This is awesome. This is the Lion King 10th anniversary. Obviously, this was from a little while ago. Great scene. Akuna Matata. Such a wonderful phrase. Oops, sorry. We have another Lion King. <gasps> what? Awesome. Beautiful. Now we have a hero card, and this is Hortons from Donald's Ostrich. Look at that, Hortons kind of looks like Donald. <laughs> a Donald head, or a duck head I should say, on an ostrich body, and that was from a short in 1937. Now, we just pulled out a super rare card in this set. It is a real piece of history card. This is awesome! So this is wicked rare. So on the back you can see the real piece of history cards. There's only 10 of these in the set. And it looks like it's one out of every 24, or sorry, one out of every 96 packs. That is so cool right there. Very rare. So you can actually see it is a film cell from the actual short and that is from 1937 awesome so excited for this and you can see the back of it right there it says congratulations you've received a limited edition real piece of history Woohoo! thanks Donald thanks buddy we'll put that one right there awesome 
And the last card we have is another different one. That is from Pinocchio. That is the Blue Fairy. Awesome! Great! We have one more to open up. <laughs> so this is cool. So excited to get that limited edition one. These cards are awesome, but I'm super excited. So here's another Lion King card. The circle continues. Excellent. We have Lilo as a hero from Lilo and Stitch. We have more from more from Treasure Planet. All right, how many of you have seen Treasure Planet? Comment below if you have. <laughs> he is a hero. He's a cool little dude. Now we have the Queen of Hearts from Alice in Wonderland, and she obviously is a villain. And we have another filmography card, and that is from 1948 from Donald's Dream Voice. Looks like he's buying some voice pills. Interesting. Actually, I believe he wanted to talk like a human in that one. Yeah. Awesome. So out of that box, which one is your favorite? Which one? Which one? Which one? I'm going to have to go with the limited edition one, obviously. So that's awesome. So let's open up the second box now. So let's take a look at vintage 1934 Donald, also known as the Long Bill Donald right there. So you can see the big difference. Number one, his hat is a little different, or a lot different, different in color. But you can see the length of his bill. Very long over here on the vintage one, and obviously much shorter on the more modern version of Donald. But also, you can see the coloring in his sailor suit. Very different right there. Let's see, is his tail any different? Not really, not really. And in this one from 1934, he's holding onto a feather. So obviously that must be from a specific short that I don't know off the top of my head. Very cool. So let's put Vintage Donald right here. And let's start to open up these packs and see who we have. I'll go through these fairly quickly for you guys. Maybe, just maybe, we can pull out another limited edition. Now that would be something. First one, we actually got that one already. And we got that one already. And we got Morph already. We have the Queen of Hearts again. <laughs> now we have, this is a new one, the filmography, 1948. This is from T for 200. <laughs> Gonna have to go out and watch that one right there. Awesome, so let's go to pack number two. Hopefully no more doubles. No more doubles, unless we get a double of the limited edition one. We'll take that. If I can get the pack open here. So we have awesome! Jiminy Cricket as a hero from Pinocchio. I like that one. Oh, another good one. A villain. The Mad Hatter from Alice in Wonderland. Gotta love the Hatter. Oh, another good one. We have the Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Obviously, she's a villain. Look at her face. Look at her face. Now we have Rolly from 101 Dalmatians. He is a hero. Yes, he is. And we have another filmography card, and that is from the 1941 short, Old McDonald Duck. Excellent. Two more packs to go. Come on, let's get an ultra rare. More limited editions, more limited editions, come on. So we have a hero, we have Pegasus from Fantasia. Awesome. We have Clarice 
from Two Chips and a Miss, Chip and Dale. Who is Clarice? Comment below and let me know. We have Anastasia and Drizella from Cinderella. They're a villain as well. We also have Sykes from Oliver and Company. He is also a villain. And last but not least in this pack, we have another filmography card from 1935, The Band Concert. Mickey and Donald. You can see the long billed Donald right there. Cool. We have one more pack to go today. Any more limited editions? Come on, come on. Would be nice, it would be nice. Ooh, we have Duchess from the Aristocats. She's a hero. We have Ajax from Donald Duck and the Gorilla. He was that mean gorilla. We have another Lion King, King in the Night from the 10th anniversary. Then we have Cinderella, one of the greatest heroes of all time in Disney filmography history. And last, we have another filmography card of Donald Duck, and that is from 1947, Clown of the Jungle. Haven't seen that one yet either. So there you go, guys. There was our two Disney Treasures collectible cards plus the Donald Duck vinyl openings. We opened 10 packs of the rare Upper Deck Disney Treasure cards, and we did pull out a super ultra rare real piece of history from Donald Duck in 1937, Don, Donald. This is by far our favorite out of the whole, whole unboxing here. But I wanna know which one was your favorite. If that limited edition wasn't, comment below. Let me know which card was your favorite. Also, let me know which Donald is your favorite. I'm just gonna have to go with vintage just because we don't see much of vintage Donald anymore unless you go and watch the old shorts. But there you go, guys. There's another video from Review the Magic. Stay tuned this week. Tomorrow, we're gonna open up some frozen fashions. This week, and we're gonna unbox the brand new limited edition Disney Park Pack pin mystery box as well as the two Zoom Zoom, their Zoom Zoom blind boxes right there. So subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Thanks for watching. We appreciate it. And we'll see you real soon. If this concludes your visit, we hope you've had a wonderful time and will return home safely.